in this problem, we have a man sitting on a dentist chair. Now, we push down on the input piston with a force of 73.4 newtons, and there's an output force of 2,430 newtons. And we're asked to find the ratio of the radiuses of the output plunger to the input piston. Now, radius is just related to the area, so we'll have to figure out what that is. So we're looking for radius out, radius in. What is that equal to? Now, a key point here is that pressures in an incompressible fluid are the same at the same heights. So the input piston is here, the output piston, piston is here at the same height. So the pressures just underneath these pistons are identical. Pressure in equals pressure out. So we can say that pressure in equals pressure out. And we also know that force is equal to pressure times area. So what we're going to do is solve this for pressure, which is equal to force divided by area. So now we have an equation that we can use to relate these two pistons. Because we know that these pressures are the same, P in equals P out, we have a formula for pressure relating the force that we know and the area that we don't know, but we're looking for a ratio of these radiuses. So we can get that from there. So we say P in equals P out. We sub in F over A. So force in or area in equals force out over area out. So we, we're looking for R out over R in, so I'm going to multiply area out over this side. And divide the input force to this side. Now we know area is simply equal to pi r squared. This is the area of a circle, basically. The surface area on the bottom It's pi r squared. So we'll sub that in for the areas. So we have pi r out squared divided by pi r in squared, and that's just equal to our forces, F out over F in. Okay, so we look, our pi's cancel out, and we're left with R out squared divided by R in squared, so we're going to take the square root of both sides, so square root of both sides leaves us with R out over R in equal to the square root of F out over F in. R over, over Rn is what we're looking for. So all we need to do is plug in our numbers here. So force out is 2,430 newtons divided by the input force of 73.4 newtons. So that will give us a final answer rounded to three significant digits. This is three, this is three, this trailing zero doesn't count. And we round it to 33.1. No units because that's the ratio. Final answer.